Last week, Marvel gave us our very first look at their upcoming film, Captain America Civil War. It looks good. It's dramatic. It's continuing the serious paranoia tone that the Winter Soldier started. So I'm on board. And the trailer didn't make it seem like it was going to be Avengers 2.5, even though most of the cast was in it. It felt like a proper Captain America movie. Not to be outdone, DC just released a sneak peek of Batman vs Superman during Gotham right before I started filming this. It looks just like all the other Batman vs Superman stuff they've been putting out. But I don't want to talk about movies I haven't seen yet. What I want to talk about is how both Marvel and DC are releasing big budget movies next year about their top characters beating the snot out of each other. Because apparently we want to see our heroes fight other heroes and not bad guys. When superheroes were first created, they were obviously good guys. People you can look up to to always do the right thing. After a while, they would occasionally team up to fight crime together and often form groups like the Justice League or the Justice Society. In the 60s, when Stan Lee started writing Fantastic Four, he would also do superhero crossovers, but would actually have the Fantastic Four get into conflict with other heroes like Namor and the Hulk. Now these fights were usually minor, either a misunderstanding or the result of mind control, and the effects wouldn't last very long. They'd often be reversed by the end of the issue. Now as far as I can find, the earliest example of a hero versus hero battle as we think of it today was the Avengers Defenders War from 1973 written by Steve Englehart. This story pit the Avengers against the Defenders for control of the evil eye. But both teams were manipulated by Loki and Dormammu, so this can be chalked up to another misunderstanding. If you ask me, Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns really set the tone for what a hero v hero battle should be for the next few decades. The climactic battle between Batman vs Superman in this book wasn't one based on misunderstandings or mind control or anything like that, but rather based on ideological differences. These are two characters who have very different views on the world and how to save it, and have finally just reached a point where they can't put their differences aside anymore. Ever since The Dark Knight Returns came out, ideological differences seem to be the go-to reasoning for why superheroes fight each other, and that lingering animosity can last throughout a character's ongoing story. In the past 15 years, we've seen an influx of hero vs. hero stories, from Identity Crisis to Injustice to pretty much every Marvel event since Civil War. Now, on the one hand, seeing superheroes fight is kind of cool. It satisfies the childhood part of our brain that would often ask these questions on the playground. Who would win in a fight? Captain America or Iron Man? Batman or literally anybody? But at least in comics, we've hit an oversaturation point. Publishers will just pump out hero vs. hero stories left and right. Like I said before, every Marvel event since Secret Wars was some variation on heroes vs. heroes. And since event comics are the ones that get the most promotion, it seems like nowadays all heroes do is fight each other instead of fighting crime. And with popular video games on the matter and two big budget Hollywood movies coming out, Hero vs. Hero as a concept is more talked about than ever. But is this what we want? To see our heroes fight each other? I mean, yeah, every once in a while it's cool, but to keep this going for so long? Now, I don't think this is a trend that's going to be hanging around for a lot longer. I don't think either of these movies are going to get direct sequels, and Marvel and DC don't really seem to be putting out as much titles as they used to where their heroes fight each other. But that doesn't mean I don't think this is going to be the end to these types of tales. DC will probably put out another fighting game based on their characters, and it's already rumored that Marvel is doing a sequel to Civil War the comic. I just know comic book publishers have a penchant for trying to make their books more like their big screen sexy Hollywood counterparts. So I would not be surprised if in late 2016 we get a lot more books from Marvel and DC where their heroes kick the crap out of each other. At least until the next round of movies comes out and they start taking ideas from those. Let me know down below or anywhere on the internet what you guys think of hero v hero stories. Have you had enough? What are some of your favorite and least favorite examples? New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Streaming on Thursdays. Like if you like. Subscribe if you really like. Share this video with a friend. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. In fact, my only real exposure to Jessica Jones is through her second less popular series, The Pulse. I had never read Alias, the series that she made her debut in. But this could be a good thing. It's one of the few times I'm going into a comic book adaption cult. Sometimes it's not fun knowing that Bucky is the Winter Soldier or that Gwen Stacy isn't going to last very long. I, it's not that I lost interest. I, I don't think I... Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, I like going out. Yeah. I like going out on Black Friday. I, it, I think it's because of how dangerous it is. Well, yeah. Well, now it's gotten ridiculous. <laughs> yeah.